Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. Racing? No. And you may be asking yourself, why are you starting on the water? And that, my answer to that question, I don't know why I'm starting on the water. I don't know, I just like planes that are parked on the water. And being on the water with a plane is so cool because normally you're only on the water with a hovercraft or a boat or something. But on, but on water with a plane, it's just so out of your element that it's crazy. But you know what else you could say is that I'm so fast in those races, and you can't catch me. And you know what else you can't catch? You can't catch smoke. And so, technically, I'm smoke on the water. Yeah. Think about what I just said there for a minute. Oh jeez, smoke on the water. What an awesome song. Oh yeah. I think one of the coolest things about that song is honestly the, the name. Like, even though, like, like, oh my god. Is, is Smoke on the Water the same th song that I'm thinking about? Like, I think it is. It's the one that goes like, dun, 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 or something like that. I think that's the one that it is. And, um, I need to go get the key from Snowball Valley, don't I? Yep. Oh yeah, but like smoke on the I don't know, I just like the name of it so much because smoke on the water is such like a cool illusion. It's just like crazy. And that song just sounds like so cool. Like it sounds like the look of smoke on the water, if that makes sense. Anyway, so the key is just right over here, right like next to the starting line in this little thing. This little outcropping made of ice bricks, I guess. Oh, I love this area so much. It's just like so cool. Like you could just like park in here. And no one would ever find you. You could just be totally isolated. It's like all it's like all those like little areas in like Mario where you can like go, just, like, go down the pipes and just sit there. And you'll just like never be caught by anything. There's no enemies, no nothing. You're just there. And you can just enjoy. You can take a nap if you want. Oh, but now's not the time to take, take a nap. We're almost like <laughs> we're like over two minutes into the video. So I should probably actually do some stuff. Alright, return to the lobby. Yeah, you don't actually need to like win the race or even like accomplish the race in order to keep the key. Which is totally awesome. Totally freaking awesome, man. Awesome like a possum. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take on the last race here and then I'm gonna go do that mini game because I don't know, I had some res reservations about even doing this race before the mini game because that mini game is so much fun. I can't wait to play. Oh my god. I wish some of you guys were here so I can play it with you. That would be so fun. Alright, dude, Diddy Kong, get out of my way. Okay. Oh, this one, this course is just so much fun. Like, I don't even mind that. I just hit that tree right now. That just prolongs my visit in this course. Oh, uh, the silver coins here can be kind of annoying, but... You know, we're not doing the silver coins right now, so why fret it? Oh, yeah. I especially like how it, like, se segues from, like, that village area, like, that nice Brit like lit up area into this just foggy awesomeness it's just crazy man I don't know maybe it's just because I'm from Canada or something and I'm just prolonging the stereotype of Canadians who like live in igloos and stuff oh, which is true by the way and um yeah <sighs> my family we used to live in like a cottage like that like those like these ones over here used to live in a house like that it was so much fun like oh my god you could just like go out and make a snowman whenever you wanted it was crazy oh yeah so that's why I kind of like always loved this course is just because like it reminds me of home essentially in, in essence this reminds me of home like my home Canada it's pretty crazy mm. and one time there's like this one crazy story that like it's just like this is honestly the course that I spent the most time on in like history except maybe the course against the whiz pig but like um but like this course i literally just like one time i just went on and i just drove around i just drove around exploring and stuff like looking at all the minute details and stuff and i did that for about two hours just driving around <laughs> and it was honestly so much fun dude don't hit the bubble okay oh, that bubble's so out of place in a snowy environment like this oh yeah so I would just like drive around and just like explore and I love like the Christmas trees and I just like so I pretty much know this whole level inside and out everything about it it's pretty crazy and I even love the water on the sides it's totally awesome and if you if you happen to be driving a hovercraft through here then there's a little bit of a shortcut you can take through the water on the sides there there's some tunnels and stuff that you can just go right through nice that's up caverns course, you know, but I don't know why you'd be driving a hovercraft in there in the first place. It's not very much fun. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna avoid the boss for now. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Almost went in there on accident. Oh, that would have been really, really stupid. Stupid, okay. <laughs> I was I couldn't decide whether saying stupid or stupid. Okay, this is the icicle pyramid though. We're gonna do this now. Last player remaining will win. Oh, I love how they say will win. Cause it's just like alliteration. Oh, dude, I didn't I have like con wasn't I against like Diddy Conquer and Banjo for like the first minigame too? That's crazy. I don't know, maybe it's just the same for every minigame. I guess we'll find out when we go for the third one. Because there's like no possible way that you that I would get lucky enough to have the same four character or same three characters against me. For all for like all the minigames. That would just be ridiculous, man. Alright, but basically, yeah, the objective of this is to use mines and rockets and whatever else you want to use. You can just ram into them, even though that won't work. It is fun, though. It's just like collisions, it's like bumper cars. Uh, and you just want to knock, knock out all eight of their bananas. Uh, homing missiles are extremely effective. Yeah, you also have the, these shields and stuff that you can use if you want. Uh, I never found the use for the shields, really. Because even if you run into someone with this... Dude, you can't just... Dude! Oh my god, that one didn't even hit me. It hit the wall and I ran into the explosion. Oh, I ran into the debris. Oh, jeez, man. That's like in Mario when you just like... Like a ball bomb explodes. And then like it's like makes that like firework effect for a little while. And you just run into the like the sparks of the firework and it's just dumb. But that one was even worse because I like drove into it. So I had maximum velocity. Right. Oh, Conquer. Yes. Jeez, Conquer. Yeah. I, th I think it's like kind of epic how I'm up against like Diddy and Conquer and Banjo. Because like, like those are like just like the big guys of this like thing. Because like there's like Diddy, obviously he has like he's like in a ton of games. And then there's Conquer. He has Conquer's Bad Fur Bad Fur Day, which from what I'm gathering from uh, NCS's LP of that is an awesome game. And then, of course, we have Banjo. Like, who could forget Banjo? Especially with that big nose. The big nose that looks like it's so wet. Oh, I love wet noses. But I hate wet dogs. I especially hate wet dog smell. I don't know if, I, if like, I'm the only one to notice this, but I honestly think that wet dog smell, it smells like egg tarts. Like, e have, <laughs> I don't know, that sounds weird, because most of you probably don't even know what the heck an egg tart is, even though, by the name, it kind of gives it away. Alright, where is everyone? I suppose I could be using my mini-map. Oh, but since the mini-map's not in three dimensions, it's not very helpful in this case. Oh, yeah, but it's just, like, wet dogs, like, sometimes they smell like egg tarts, and it's just, like, the weirdest thing. And, like, I like the taste of egg tarts, but I hate the smell of them, so it's just kind of, like, bittersweet for me when I smell that. Oh, I never even got into why, like, this is my favorite mini-game. It's just, like, because, like, I don't know if this would be my favorite minigame if it weren't for my sister, because we used to just, like, go in here and just play against each other so much. I just heard a homing rocket. I wonder if that hit anyone. Oh, there's someone. Okay. I looked like Bumper from the back there. Oh, wait, it's Conker. Damn it, I missed. <laughs> I had the target on, but I missed. So rare to miss with a lock on. Oh, or with a hard on. Yeah, but, like, my sister and me, we were just, like, uh go up against each other and just do like an ep do like epic battles and like we, we would like even like because we had like a camcorder back then so we like even like recorded some of those epic battles against each other and they, those were like some funny videos I gotta tell you the funnier than any of the shit that I'm producing now that's for sure uh, oh my god I just killed Diddy that's scary that's scary when you hit them and they, like they lost their la they lose their last two bananas and you just see them disappear oh crap I might lose this oh my god it's gonna be so embarrassing if I lose this. Uh. Alright. No! No! I lost! Dude! Dude, I did not just lose! Dude, crap! I'm so I'm supposed to be so good. I've played this for like hundreds of hours against my sister and everything. I didn't I just lost! And I lost the conquer too! Oh my god! <laughs> so in in some sense, in some weird, strange sense. Tim just beat me. He just beat me in Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, now I have to do this again. Oh, but you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind in the slightest that I have to do this again, because 
because I've stated a million times. Dude, why was Diddy floating there? Did you see that? He was floating for a second. I don't know what that was, man. Yeah, but as I've stated a million times now, I do love this thing. This place with a fiery passion. Alright. Oh, why am I... Why did I press the Z button? And I have to hold it down until I see someone. Which could be forever from now. Or right now. That works too. Alright. Oh yeah, some other st like me and my sister we would like add things to this mini game too. Like I know it sounds kind of weird, but we would like add like territories. So like each floor was a different territory, so there were like three territories in total. Except like actually there were four because like the tunnels on the other side, on like the outsides underneath here, they count as a different territory entirely. And we always like we always wanted like both because we would like each like claim two different territories. And we would always go for either the top like a very top floor, or the bottom corridors, because those are just like the best ones, that I don't know. Alright, don't hit that, oh my god. I had so much time to swerve and avoid there. Oh, just like in those movies, like in like Fast Five, they can just like swerve and avoid. Swerve and avoid, swerve and avoid, oh, Conker's dead, I just saw that. Good job, Banjo. You were the first one dead last time, now you're the last one, or one of the last ones alive. But where are you? It looks like you're on the top floor. Oh, there he is. He's not on the top floor at all. Dude, I just... Oh, dude. Okay, can I just please drive? Can you drive in a straight line? That's honestly one of the hardest things to do, is to drive in a perfectly straight line. Like, you see people in, like, Canada's Worst Driver and stuff, and they can't drive in straight lines with crap, but I can't do that either, so I have no right to, like, even, like, judge them for that. Oh, but the people in Canada's Worst Driver, they're just... They're just an abomination to the word driving. Alright, let's see if I can cut off Banjo right right around. Oh, he he would just cut inside to the center. That's dumb. Alright, and then he goes right back to the outside. So you know what? Let's just intersect him right at the corner. Boom! Yeah! Picked up a green balloon at the very end there too, it looks like. Alright. Oh, I never actually showed this cutscene. I just skipped over it last time. What a crazy angle he comes at you from. You won first prize. You won first prize. That's all. I think that might be my favorite line from him. Well, actually, no. There is one line that's that's my favorite from him. It's, oh my god. I don't even want to say it because I want him to say it first. But like, it's the it's like when he says Alakazoo. It's just like it's he says it like it's such a short like ending to like because like normally he says like Abracadabra or something. But like it's just crazy. He just says it so crazily. It's like Alakazoo. <laughs> It's so funny, like, I, I need to get him to say that at one point. Alright, but I guess we're going for the boss now. I don't know if we have enough time in this video. Well done. Now I challenge you to race. Jeez, man, that's the perfect voice for a walrus. Like, now, whenever I think about a walrus, and, like, if it, like, a walrus could talk, it, dude, I just got a hiccup. But, like, if a walrus could talk, that's the voice I would imagine him having is the voice of this guy, like some like raspy old man voice. Oh, it's kind of crazy. It reminds me of someone's voice that I heard in like a movie one time or something, or maybe it was a video game, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh my god, I almost just, I, I just remembered like the story. Like some, it's, it's kind of a story, it's more just like a thing that me and my sister had, like a kind of weird meme. Is that like, like whenever we would race this guy as kids, I don't know why or how, but we somehow like got way ahead of him at one point, and we just like beat him by so much that we just thought he was just like the slowest thing ever. So we started calling the guy Slowpoke, or no, not not slow, Snowpoke. Yeah, we made the th we made that pun Snowpoke, and we would just go up to him and be like Snowpoke, Snowpoke. I think there was more to it than that, but it was just like <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. And now, like, I can't beat him by much nowadays, but, like, it was just so funny. I don't know. Well right. Yeah, we gotta collect all the silver coins from around the snow world. Oh, he didn't say and win with the emphasis that Tricky or Horny had. Damn it. 
<laughs> That's just one of the creepiest things I've ever seen, honestly. Just the genie, he's just like moving his hand to go in like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm making the hand gestures, but obviously you can't see that. Whatever. 